Anthony Fury, mayoral candidate, making an announcement this morning at Keele Station. Let's listen in live here. And my plan has a commitment on public safety in our streets in general and ensuring up confidence in public transit. As mayor of Toronto, I will hire 500 new police officers to increase a visible presence of law enforcement on our streets, in our communities. We're going to bring back the beat cop. All the police officers I speak with, and I've had a lot of meaningful conversations with regular officers uh, recently, they all say they want to get back to the foot patrol. They want to get back to being the beat cop. We're also going to have more police officers on public transit. So the bad guys feel like they just can't get away with this stuff anymore. Now, I'm also going to do other things that I've heard from uh, different stakeholders and heard from uh, special constable unions and police unions that they would like to see happen. TTC special constables would like to be able to be outfitted and trained with tasers. That's appropriate. I'm going to work with the province to allow for that to happen. We want to see a greater partnership between TTC special constables and police officers, changing the reporting structures and the way communication happens so they can work more in tandem. And that enhanced presence of regular police officers that I'm going to bring about can work really well with special constables. And I think we've heard loud and clear from people all across the city, all across the political spectrum, that they do want to see a greater uh, number of mental health support workers and crisis workers to engage with people who are going through a mental health challenge on transit and also creating a public safety danger. And I will be doing that. And I will be helping people uh, across across the system for those partnerships to make that happen. Also, some really basic things like I will ensure that police radios work all throughout the transit system. And you're probably saying they, they don't actually work. Like police can be down there and they can need backup and they can't radio for help. Yeah, that's actually what's going on. And we got to work to go as fast as possible to bring cell phone service back to public transit so people can actually make that 911 call and whatever cell phone carrier they have and actually have someone answer. But we're increasingly seeing in this city, it's not enough to have your 911 call answered. And we got some problems with that as well. Being told to put on, haul, on hold when you're calling 911 is not acceptable. But we've also got to make sure police have the resources so they can adequately staff their responses to these calls. So I'm going to be laser focused on bringing back public safety to public transit. As you know, I'm also going to phase out the drug injection sites, replace them with treatment centers, have compassion for people to get them off of drugs, not keep them on drugs, because a lot of these incidents on public transit, they do relate to the drug crisis. These are very serious concerns, and, and we got to go in a different direction as we confront all of this, because it's just not acceptable to move into the summer and have another year coming where parents say when September happens, university comes back, a high school comes back, we don't want our kids on public transit. We got to turn things around. If we want good jobs and investment to come to Toronto to grow the economy and then we build the wealth so we can share the wealth and, and invest in our social services, we can't have a transit system that is in decay. We can't have a downtown that is not adequately policed. Now, I'm really glad to be joined today by Rob Davis. Uh, Rob was running for mayor. He's also been a city councillor for a number of terms uh, here in Toronto. He knows these files really well, and it's an honour for him to now be endorsing me uh, to be the next mayor of Toronto. But Rob also knows a thing or two about these files. Rob is the former vice chair of the TTC and the former co-chair of one of the leading uh, crime and safety committees that City Hall had. I'm going to give the mic over to Rob for a minute to talk about these really important issues that uh, he's giving me great, uh, great advice and insights on. Thank you, Rob. Thank you very much, uh, Anthony, uh, and good afternoon uh, or good morning. All right, we've uh, been listening to gentlemen. mayoral candidate Anthony Fury outlining more of his plans, not only for uh, public safety on the TTC, but also public safety in general, reiterating his promise there to hire 500 new officers and putting more of them on foot patrol as well as on public transit.